All right, how you doing, everybody? So here's an empty, empty AUM session. All we got is the mic right there. And uh, we're going to do some creative sampling using the mic and Koala and some effects. So let's start with, um, we're going to pull up a Koala. When I first um, got the plugin or the, the app, I didn't like the name. So I didn't want to go around like, They'd be like, what you make beats on? Koala. But now I'm 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 part of a a crew, a gang of koala beat makers. And we just be having fun with it. So I, if they made a shirt saying I make beats with koala, I probably rock it. Probably. I don't know. All right, so um what we're gonna do is uh not that. We're gonna put koala down here. Koala is so flexible. You can put it in all types of different places. All right. All right, so here's Koala doing Koala things. Here's my mic doing mic things. Um, I don't want my mic to cut off, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a bus send right here. So it's going to go to both places, kind of. And we're going to send it right over here. And that's going to go into Koala. As you can see right here, it's recording. And, uh, yeah. So we got that set up. And uh, let's do this. We're going to open up another instance of Koala. And in this Koala, we're going to load my drum kit. Here. All right. And this one, we're going to put my vocals here. All right. So we're going to do input. So we're hitting record. I, like, I don't even, man, I don't even know what I'm going to do. And I don't even know what I'm going to do. But whatever I do, it's going to be goo. But whatever I do, it's going to be goo. And I don't even know what I'm going to do. But whatever I do, it's going to be goo. A check it out. A check it out. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. All right, so we got some for my craziness. And, uh, and I don't even know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I don't know. So we're going to. Put that like that. And on this side, got a drum. Something like that. Tempo wise, I think I'm gonna go with um, 90. I love apps where you can type in the tempo and not be dragging all day. So we're gonna keep that at 90 and uh, you know what? We're going to have one more. Nah, we'll keep the koala in here. We'll just put it somewhere else. All right. So we're going to switch this to import. Now, I tried this before, and it was acting weird. We'll see what happens. All right. So we're going to import um a splice sample, I think. All right. Come into samples. It seemed, oh, okay. Wow, that, that noise gate is good. I thought the, the microphone stopped. All right, let's do um, Soul Surplus. Love their sounds, man. And their message. Like they just said, you know, we want to make music and share with other musicians. Let's do A and random. I don't even know. something like that double click it that opens it up so I already know how I want to chop it um 
What I like to do is set it in a, a choke group and then drag it over. The reason I do that is because you can't um, undo inside Koala. So I keep this one as a spare. And then from this one, I just uh, drag it up right around here. A little more. Actually, I want the whole bar, I guess. It's this one. Wow. That one. Something like that. And then slide it over. And then to keep the chop nice, drag it over and just go the other way. So your end point will be in a good spot. And this should be it. part second part second part second part all right drag that over seems like it's just gonna repeat all right so nothing new's coming to this but uh all right so after i get the two main at least for this one i go in there and i look for something specific Something like that. Alright. Now, I'm old school. Not old, old school, but I came back. I, I'm from the era. Well, actually, I can't even say that. I'm lying. I mean, I did used to sample from records, but I didn't like walking around with a whole bunch of records because they get heavy. So... I started doing music when Napster was a thing. So I had a whole lot of MP3s. I would convert CDs to MP3s. So when I discovered like people are making like these loop packs, I was like, wow, that's different. And for a long time, I couldn't figure it out. I, I couldn't make it work for me. And then I just figured it out, you know, treat it like a record or a CD or whatever. All right, so we got this part. So let's try slowing it down. So did you hear that? That tick, 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 tick. So let me copy this down. Let's take uh, this. Ah, there's a second one. Here, let me take that one instead. Another trick I learned, I forget who I saw it from, but to make it sound like it's um being, what do you call it? Um, uh, I forget the word, but just take a little attack here and a little attack here. And then when you play it, a little more. I really got to set up the camera because you ain't seeing the head bop right there, but just that. So that's part of it. And then let's see what else is here. I was tricked with that one. And we'll slow it. Down. 
Stück. Alright, put the attack on her. Alright, and then the last part. I'm not sure. Put the attack on there, pitch it down to six. And recently I just been reversing the last part. Alright, that's cool. Now we gotta figure out what the tempo is. Uh let's see, we could tap it in there. Alright. Oh, it taps here already. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, 166, a little fast. We're looking, but we're going to keep like that. All right. We're going to put that like that. Four bars. Let's see if it lines up on the first try. I want to have the metronome or... All right, we're just going to do one bar because two bars long. We're pre-roll. Wow, you can get a lot. Who wants a... You can go up to eight bars, but who needs an eight-bar pre-roll? All right, we're going to do one bar. And... Metronomes. Alright, it's gonna be longer. So we need eight bars to double that. Alright, one more again. Alright, I don't know what you're doing. Okay, last. Ah, because if I come in early, it seems to be doing that. Alright, that's fine. Let's not just come in early then. Alright, here we go. too concerned about it being a little off all right then go to our second did I put it in this one oh, I did I don't got no freaking um because i want to you know what we'll just add one in here uh let's see uh we'll do that later uh, let's, let's do it now what's in what's this yeah i mean ha. Uh, check it out check it out oh, oh yeah okay that's in here too all right let's uh ch ch all right uh ch 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 Cause what I'm trying to do right here, let's see. So you can see right here, there's no mic input cause it is in the main slot. Actually, that's not true. It's, well, this one is connected to the mic. This one, it ain't gonna work unless I move it. All right, we'll just leave it for now. Actually, you know what? All right, let me do this then. We're gonna hold it, select it, and it's not gonna let me, but it's all right. So this koala, you can do that. All right, we're gonna put koala there, and get out of there, and so now I've got all these koalas all over the place. 
But this koala. Oh, we gotta be careful because uh we put our samples. Yeah. All right, we're just gonna leave. We're gonna get rid of this one. Make things overly complicated. All right. All right, so coming out of here, get that off a of pre-roll and. Here's the thing I, I started doing also. I, I keep, so I wanna have this as a loop. So I just come in here and uh, resample loop and it's gonna throw it in some random spot. All right, we're gonna just drag, drag this over to over here. And then in your sequence, so this is the sequence we just made, but this sequence underneath it, make that eight bars. All right, and if you click on it and then click inside of it, it will highlight what you just clicked. So click on it, and now we have this loop. Now you're saying, what's the point of doing that? I do this so when I add my drums, I can take the sample away easier because in this one, even though I don't have a lot going on, I still got stuff inside there and it's good to you know mix things down all right so let's see we're gonna play all right we're gonna play that all right so you know the deal now we don't need to start on the metronome. We just could come in when we come in, so. But we should reset it to the beginning and then come in. Sounds weird, doesn't it? Let's see what's going on in there. Get yeah, right here. I might it I might actually just leave that in there. So this one. I won't. You 
know what? Delete. Delete. Bothering me. Actually, we just deleted the thing, but we got our extra right here. All right, and uh, <laughs> but yeah, man. We're gonna come in three, two, one, and let's put my metronome on. My metronome on, and I guess I want to have it come in on a little thing count. All right. Okay, here we go. Now, I don't know why it didn't play. all that happened let me see if i could undo what just something's weird in there you see all that all right all right let's see here man you're killing me man you're killing me And this is one of those things, like if I wasn't recording it, I would have been done on my first take on some simple ass pattern. But again, drag it out there and check out this one. We'll do it this way. So the pattern, I already know what I want. You see what's happening there? So every time you click, that's what's messing me up. All right. So we're going to do one of those and... that going to double that up all right and just going to play it in there we want this guy and we want that guy i think it's that guy See what I did? Oh, I wanted to start on a downbeat. This is a little bit over, so uh, it might work. Let me see, but I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna double that up, and we're just gonna mix it with the first one, and it'll be good to go. But I'm a little concerned about the. So I want to I'm gonna add one in there. different feel
So I want that in the background. So we're going to do another sequence and we're going to put this like, I'm going to make this pretty long, but we're going to make it an odd sequence number. So that way when it repeats, it's not going to be in the same place. We might even double it up. All right. So same thing, record, hit play. For this second one, we are just going to take the, the second part right here, something like that. And then back to our sequence, we're going to double that and we're going to double that. So that's 28 bars and we're going to come in and get rid of this one, this one. And that one, so it should be random ish. All right, to the beginning. That's what the second one should be. that sound is all right so next thing i want to do i just want the um so on this koala we should name these to make it uh more easier so go to your koala go to the top and you can name it i'm gonna name this uh matt and this koala, we'll name it the, uh, track. All right, so right now we got the um, sample. So here's another reason to put your sample down like that. Uh, let's see. So the sample, we put it all the way over here. So the sample is going to play forever, right? So we're going to put the sample and we're going to put it on channel four. So now if we hit it, it's not playing because we need to make another koala. This time we're going to make a, um, this kind in our app and it's on three, but we're going to put the input to four. So when we, when we play it, we can see it's only coming from there. When I muted it, I couldn't hear myself. And I'm just doing all this. So we're going to call this one. Well, we can't name it, but we can name it down here. So we're going to call this one the sample. All right, and we're gonna get a instance of Drombo. Recently, I've been loving Drombo. I've just been looking for any excuse to use it because it's just so useful. All right, so I should have just typed it. All right, Drombo. All right. Now, hopefully I can do this in time, but it's rushing me. All right, so what we're gonna use Drombo to do, we're gonna use Drombo to, and we got a couple options, but let's, let's do an instance of Koala for the effects. And we're gonna connect that to Drombo. And we're gonna go into Drombo and we're going to do a CC generator multi and 
we're going to set the CC number to, I don't know. What's a good number? Today's the 11th, I guess, but that always is something. Let's do a 77. All right. All right. So CC 77. And we're going to go into here and over to here and we're going to set this to drombo 2 i don't think we need to set both of them to drombo but i did and we're going to come in and let's do filter we're going to set the channel to one and the cc we'll keep the cc but the note we're going to set that to 77 and that's good to go and then when we look at it and when we're over here, it's not doing anything yet. Let me see, make sure everything's set up. So, filter 177. Drombo, oh, okay. So, MIDI out, it should be on the, before the MIDI out. So, you look here and look here you can see that drombo is controlling this and what we're going to do with that is we're going to make an automation lane use this guy and we're just going to draw in our midi so we're going to make a four bar loop and basically have Trombo come in. Something like that, come in. I gotta hear out that sound. All right, let's see, so we're playing. <laughs> fast so what we're gonna do is slow it down half speed quarter speed all right let's have that go half speed and which is fine and we're gonna come in All right, we're gonna make our second track right here. And then this track, do our four bars, and we're just gonna have the filter kinda so actually I should be talking more because I got the mouse, you can see what I'm doing. All right, so um, we're over here, we want this right there. And we're in here, and we're in here. And let's see, when we play it, what we get happening. <laughs> here so we're just gonna have these alternate so it's gonna start off like this
timing wise we should have this go let's see here if we go at a quarter that might be too slow it'll be all right and then have the second one so this one is going at full speed we can have this go at also a quarter and we should also have this a little more darker and we should take this off because i don't want to see all those dots all right have the filter i like that all right now when we play this we get this So that would be the hook, but we need another part for this. I have to make a whole part two. All right, but uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll probably pass 30 minutes on this. But yeah, just some workflow type of thing. So recap what we did. We uh, sampled our voice into this one, and we uh, just recorded uh, asymmetric kind of thing, so it's not so repetitive. We made the track and we separated the samples onto another track so we can use some effects and we use Drombo to control or automate the effects. Um, for the sample, we chopped it up and uh, we did some, we found a good part to, to, to chop it up at on that little, uh, that da, 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 da. so here's the original. And this is what we made. I want to bless it, man. All right, let me see if I get here. I'm about to bless it. Drop a little message like I'm in the booth, but it's not confession. I'm living proof. Everything I'm learning, what I do, and I'm putting it out to the world so they could understand my truth. Catch it how you get it. If you got it, then you listen off the top and be psychotic when I be rocking the rhythm. I be splitting like an atom. In fact, I did it before, but I'm not using atom. I got them when I blast them with these tracks and attraction comes together so fast like lightning in the bottle you can catch it if you can't that's okay I'm on this microphone I'll be spitting out the flow though hit them with the style it be bringing it uh, bringing it in like bro <laughs> let me stop man all right thanks for watching and as always uh, like subscribe uh, drop some comments let me know if you like this format it's kind of random but just seeing the workflow because another way to learn how to do this stuff is just to see it being done but yeah all right peace